Hello friends, today I am now going to discuss the operation of clipper circuits. In my first video, I have discussed about clipper circuit and uh, its introduction uh, to the diode. Introduction to diode and its operation in little bit briefly I have discussed. But today I will discuss the main key thing that is the operation of clipper circuit. How a clipper is used to clip the input wave function uh, with the help of the circuit. So let's start. First of all, I will draw a circuit again. First of all, I will draw the clipper circuit again. So, if we draw, let me take the color. Here is T0 clipper circuit. It is a series clipper actually. Sorry, shunt clipper actually. It is shunt clipper and here V0 output is taken. Okay, here it is AC input, you know. AC input means what? Here 10 sin T input voltage is given. So it is the resistance R. So it is a shunt clipper circuit. So here 10 uh, here 10 sin T AC input voltage is given. Here it is a diode. Here it is the resistance and output V0 is given here. So what is our question now? So our main question is if now a graph is given input graph input voltage versus tree graph is given this T 10 sin T input was given and sin T varies from what to what? Sin T varies from minus 1 to plus 1. So 10 sin T varies from here it is plus 10 it is minus 10. So it is AC input voltage. Okay. <clears throat> so the waveform of the input voltage is given such that waveform of the AC input voltage is given in such a way. So now what is the, our work? What is our work? Our work is to find what is the waveform of output voltage V0? What is the waveform of output voltage V0? So let's start our discussion. Now from here, the clipper circuits operation is starting. So firstly, firstly I am again drawing the circuit very small here. Here it is resistance, here it is diode, here are 10 sin t here v0 so one thing here if uh, here for positive half cycle positive half cycle means whenever here you know that it is if it is plus and it is minus and it is p and it is n <laughs> positive half cycle means if current is going from here to here in this direction in this direction Means current is going in this direction. So for positive half cycle, <coughs> here you can see that if Vi input voltage greater than zero, input voltage greater than zero, that means 10 sin t. 10 sin t means what? Sin t varies from minus one to plus one. That means 10 sin t varies from minus 10 to plus 10. That means from zero to 10. Uh, from 0 to 10 input voltage is greater than 0 so when input voltage is greater than 0 here that means what here plus 2 plus means what already in forward bias so when input voltage is greater than 0 that means forward bias that means it's act like forward bias so for <coughs> so for clear picture I am drawing here so that AC input here it is plus minus means I will draw like DC battery so that you can clearly understand that I will draw like DC battery so here first of all eraser that 10 sin DC voltage battery I will draw like DC 
plus minus DC battery plus minus that is here resistance R and it is connected to the P side N side so when VI greater than 0 so means forward bias that means what when input voltage greater than 0 then forward bias and in forward bias diode acts like what in the forward bias diode acts like short circuit short circuit short circuit means it acts like wire wire means what here no potential drop here no potential drop will happen here so no potential drop means what here v0 is nothing v0 is zero that means for positive half cycle when <coughs> v0 is greater than zero uh, sorry vi is greater than zero then the diode is what then the diode is at forward bias at forward bias diode is acting like what diode is acting like short circuit and short circuit means what wire wire means what no potential drop along this line no potential drop means what v0 equals zero so now our work so remind this i will now our i will work out for the negative half cycle negative half cycle means actually what it is meant <coughs> negative half cycle is actually whenever it is just like that here minus here plus firstly for positive half cycle i was discussing here plus here minus now i am reversing the polarity of the battery polarity of the battery i am reversing then here p then here n so that means current in this direction negative half cycle in this direction current going on means what if i will draw like dc battery for your clear understanding i am drawing like a dc battery dc battery means what uh, here negative side here positive side dc battery here resistance here diode so plus minus so if that is positive end of the battery <coughs> dc battery connected with what connected with n pn junction n inside so positive end of the battery is connected with n that means what negative half cycle negative half cycle means what vi less than zero that means input voltage less than zero an input voltage less than zero that means and it is connected to positive and is connected to the n that means what it is reverse biased and reverse bias means what this line this diode will act as what open circuit open circuit i'm drawing open circuit here so that means here that line here that line that diode line will act as open circuit open circuit means what no current will flow through this circuit this will act like open circuit so open circuit means here all the potential drop will all the potential will dropped here dropped across this line no current is going through on but potential will dropped across the line so for reverse biased we are getting the output voltage v0 totally so now let's apply this let's apply this result to where where the operation of clipper that is to clip the waveform so now let's draw the graph input and output it is vi it is t and i have drawn vi as what in such a way now let us consider it is v0 same line mm here so for positive half cycle what we have got no potential difference no potential difference means what here v0 zero, 0 no v0 is here it is forward bias for positive half cycle we have first got that short circuit it diode behaves like short circuit short circuit means what diode behaves like wire and wire means no potential drop no potential drop means what here v0 is 0 but in case of reverse biased but in case of reverse biased all the potential drop diode is behaving like what diode is behaving like open circuit 
all the potential is dropped here all the potential is dropped here and the output waveform like this so clipper circuit clipped this portion clipped this positive end portion only we are getting the output for negative half cycle so the operation of clipper is giving us the thing here t so output we are getting as this sorry let me write clearly output we are getting as this so this is the <coughs> operation of clipper circuit now we are taking another case another case means what another case means <laughs> if uh, we uh, we interchange the diode direction interchange the diode direction means what battery is such a direction it is positive it is negative and we interchange the diode direction that means what here it is r and here n junction is there here p junction is there so completely opposite case will here happen will be happened here that means for vi greater than 0 here what positive end uh, positive end is connected with negative side of the pn junction positive end connected with negative side pn junction for that means positive half cycle will get it where will get uh, will get it that is reverse biased for positive end for positive ends reverse bias means it is uh, acting like broken wire so all the voltage will drop for positive end only but for negative half cycle negative half cycle here positive is connecting to p side and it is uh, acting like forward bias so for this type of circuit output waveform will be v0 t here for negative end side like sorry let me draw clearly yeah for this type of circuit output will be like this v0 t for that is it for today now thank you we will draw another case we will we'll see another case for paper uh, in our next videos or either we'll discuss if you want we'll discuss op amp also so thank you for watching thank you